Uh, so this is going to be one of the daily mobility flows slash sequences uh, that's really going to help you move better, feel better. And we're going to start with the bretzel, which is like a fantastic drill. And I'll, I'll kind of break it down as far as, you know, what to do, when to do it. And uh, I like to have the foam roller just for the, for the head slash for the neck for stability. Now watch, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the top knee up, right? So if I'm lying down on the side, my top leg is going to be in a 90 position and it's going to drop a, a little bit, okay? So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the back of my ankle and pull it back into extension. So my abs are still on here, right? The two things that I'm going to now do is this knee is going to drop down. I'm going to pull my ankle to my butt cheek and a couple of things. So first of all, I'm going to push the knee down and pull the ankle, or should I say ankle to my butt, but I'm going to create some tension. So when, when I want to create this tension, what I'm going to do is imagine that I'm going to try to push my knee up, but I'm going to resist it with my hand. So that's going to create some activation and take my, put my, uh, my abs on, right? My abs are going to fire up here. I'm going to try to push this foot back but i'm going to resist it with my hand right so i'm going to drive five four three two one and now i'm going to exhale and let that shoulder drop okay so now we got some of that thoracic extension and notice my neck's going with it i'm going to do this again okay i'm going to drive put it this way try to drive this up resist with my hand pull this back and five, four, three, two, one, exhale. Notice how I get more thoracic extension again. Do it one more time. And drive, five, four, three, two, one, and, and again, more thoracic extension. Right, so really opening up my hips and creating that thoracic mobility. The only time you would not really go after this is if you have any type of low back issue and it's flaring up on us, right? For, for most, it's actually gonna feel fantastic. But this is like a big bang for your buck thing that you can do. And like I said, I would go three, four, maybe even five breaths. Notice every time I create that tension and then I exhale. And my hips are locked in, so that's the key. Like Because I create that activation, my hips stay locked in and all my movement's coming from the upper back. Really, really good drill. Number two, we're going to go into a windmill. So since we're using, like I said, a foam roller, you could put a med ball here. You could put uh, anything that's just a little bit elevated so that it prevents your low back from rotating. So I'm going to keep this roller here, bring this arm out, and now I'm going to slide my hand, okay, to get my shoulder blade out. I like to turn the thumb down to give me some, some feedback, and I'm going to watch my thumb, and I'm going to keep following it and try to keep it all the way down to the ground. If I can, I'm gonna open up my chest and then bring it back. One of the things too that you can do when you're in this position is hang out here and keep looking at the hand, take deep breaths. So notice when I take that breath, I can go lower down. Right? And so we'd go for six. Six per side with that breathe out here. Great for thoracic rotation, thoracic extension. So those are just two great drills. Like you could do this, uh, you know, a number of times throughout the day. Okay, from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push up position. We're gonna go to a single leg downward dog. So remember, this is a downward dog position. Okay, when you push back, feel our hamstrings flatten out our back. But what we're going to do is go into a single leg downward dog position. So I'm locking out the elbows, I'm driving back, I'm feeling a hamstring stretch. If you want to progress this, we're going to go and do a scorpion. So the scorpion, um, my shoulders are, I would say, aligned with the floor. Okay, so notice this. They're aligned with the floor, but I'm going to drive that heel and try to touch the ground with it. Great opening up of that lateral side, feeling my oblique stretching. I'm holding this long just for the video. You can do this for less amount of time. And then I'm gonna come forward and I'm gonna go into my Spider-Man lunge position. Spider-Man lunge position. Here we're gonna do something called the lizard. I'm gonna reach, follow my hand, breathe out, and come back in, drop that down. And again. 
and I do the same thing. Repeat. Back, punch it out. Reach, come forward. Let's Okay, twice. And we'd go back to the same position and then we'd repeat that on the other side. Like I said, six repetitions. Okay, so six repetitions is what we're shooting for. And the last part of this mobility sequence is we would start in a quadruped position, okay? This means on all fours. We're gonna bring out this foot, try to flatten it out, okay? Keep our low back nice and flat. We're gonna push back until we feel a big stretch here in the adductor, okay? And once we feel that big stretch, what we're gonna do is just hand behind our heads, open up that up. <sighs> Touch, open up for six reps, okay? Coming back, other side, same thing. We're gonna rock back. Feel that stretch in our groin or adductor area. Elbow to the ceiling, looking at your elbow. Now we're gonna bring it back in. And because now we've done a bunch of opening of the hips, we're gonna walk ourselves back to our push up position. Sit here, move our hips around a little bit. Walk ourselves back out. and back into push-up position. When you're here, if you want to, you can add a little bit of rotation per side. Walk yourself back out. And same thing, six repetitions of each one of these, and you're done, right? So it's essentially two exercises and two mini flows that if you do, is gonna probably take you anywhere from three to five minutes, somewhere probably more like four to five minutes, you can run through it two times and that's your 10 minute segment of a mobility flow that you can do every day, separate or before a training session.